friends, and welcome to Mountain Patriot Homestead. I hope everyone is doing well today, and I thought maybe we would just sit and visit for a little bit. I don't have any notes. Um, I don't have any particular topic in mind. It's just been a while since we just sat down and visited, so I thought we'd do that today, and I've got, uh, I've got all kinds of bunny trails I can go down, but let's, uh, Let's just see where it leads us. So I am trying to, I've got the camera adjusted down a little more than normal because I'm trying not to catch too much of the sky in the background. As you can see, it's really bright outside. And um, I know that if I catch too much of the sky, the camera will just go in and out and it's very distracting and stuff when you're trying to watch it back later. So uh, I'm, I've, kind of got it aimed down a little more so when you see me talking and you you see I've got my drink in my hand um, it's a Diet Mountain Dew I promise folks it's it's not anything any harder than a Diet Mountain Dew so um, as I said I figured we'd just sit and visit I, I did not put out a video this weekend and I apologize I usually put one out but it's one of those sorry not sorry moments because I had a very good reason for not putting out a video and it was because I spent the weekend with some dear friends that I have not seen in get this 40 years these are some friends that I graduated from high school with and this was our 40th anniversary of graduation um, this year and they invited me to uh, spend the girls weekend with them and they came up and uh, we spent the weekend at a cabin and done some antique shopping and eating and laughing and catching up and so it was a wonderful weekend and so even though I missed visiting with y'all it was wonderful getting to see old friends and um, it, we all admitted during the weekend that we were a little little nervous about you know we haven't seen each other in 40 years haven't haven't talked I mean I've lived far away from them so even though they've kind of kept up I've not been around and um, so everybody was kind of you know is this gonna be awkward is this gonna be weird I'll tell you the truth, and we all agreed on it, all said the same thing, that it was like those 40 years vanished, and we took up right where we left off. We, it was like we went straight from high school to now. The only difference is we're a little older, a little more wrinkles, um, things aren't where they used to be, so, you know, it it just it was not awkward at all it was just a good time with good friends so thank you girls for inviting me along i had a wonderful time and i hope we can do it again in the future so that's where i was this weekend um you know just uh i was not here uh, my husband held down the fort here him and the pepper dog took care of things and um i appreciate I uh, appreciate him for um, not uh, for him encouraging me to go along and and just have a good time. So I appreciate that. Um, this weekend, this past weekend, of course, was Father's Day, and um, uh, the boys weren't able to come in, but they did call and tell their daddy Happy Father's Day. Uh, I made some pork chops out on the out on the smoker and made a cake. Um, do y'all remember here a while back when um, I had showed you that I had got some um, some icing, uh, some of that canned frosting that was like a hot pink <laughs> frosted and I told you I'd find a use for it? I did. Um, his devil's food cake yesterday was decorated with hot pink icing. So um, not the most manly color in the world, but uh, he said it tasted perfect eating it with his eyes closed. So <laughs> it, it was all good. It tasted fine. And uh, so we had a good, good 
afternoon yesterday after I got home. Had a good time. Um, just, yeah, just normal things going on here around the homestead. Otherwise, um, we're still waiting on some mama goats back here um, to give us some more little ones. We've got two that are out there bouncing and hopping and running around. They're so cute. Um, and But we've got two more nanny goats that we're waiting on little ones. Uh, of course, with the the full moon coming up soon, that'll probably be when we have some additions. But that's, uh, that's about the only other thing that we're really waiting on. Um, I do want to mention that uh, I was extremely proud of my husband yesterday afternoon. Um, I'm always proud of him, but um, he has overcame. Now, most people have some type of phobia. I, I used to be terrified of spiders. I could see a spider, a picture of a spider in a book, and it was just like, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, a while ago, I walked through a spider web and used to, I'd have been dancing around and acting crazy, but I just kind of, you know, wiped it off my face and kept going. Um, I guess I finally outgrew that phobia of spiders, but he has been, <laughs> wasp die bombing me. Uh, he has always been absolutely petrified of snakes. He didn't like snakes. It didn't matter if they were dead or whatever. He didn't like snakes. Um, and he has just always, as long as I've known him, he's been that way. He just do, does not like snakes. And um, I know I'm going to tell on him. One time we had a, a chicken snake in an old chicken house where we used to live. And um, this chicken snake was in there after the chickens. And and um, I think might have already got one of the chicks or something. Something was going on in the chicken house. Any, anyway, he disposed of the chicken snake and the back end of the chicken house. You know, just... <laughs> just Hopefully you can understand what I mean by that. Well, yesterday I went out and we were feeding like we do every evening. We were feeding and I went into the into the chicken house and he had already told me that one of the little ducks is sitting in the corner. And she's, you know, down there sitting on a little clutch of eggs and, and uh, excuse me. And uh, so when I went in there, I'm gathering eggs and I'm talking to her and because she's over in the corner, and I noticed, you know, she does not look happy, and she's just, she's just back talking, and it's like, are you fussing at me? I'm all the way across the chicken coop from you. What's the matter with you? Well, I noticed, I saw a black tail that did not belong to the duck, and it's like, ah, I see what's going on. Um, she was given a chicken snake fits, but it wasn't affecting this chicken snake. He was curled up under her with his tail out, and he had already, he already had one egg. So, it's like, oh no, buddy, you're not going to sit there and eat my mama duck's eggs right out from under her. So, I reach over, and I get him by the tail, and I start pulling him out. Well, of course, he didn't like that. I mean, nobody would want to get yanked by their tail, so as I'm pulling him out by his tail... Um, the mama duck is just pecking fire from him, you know, with, uh, she's trying to peck him on the head and I've got him by the tail. So he's a very unhappy snake. So he tries to take off and he slips out of my hand and he heads right for the door. Well, I'm, I'm yelling at my husband that we've got a chicken snake in the chicken house. And so he comes around the corner and this snake's coming right at him. Well, he has a hoe and, uh, Anyway, um, I pin the head of the snake down with my boot. I just step on his head to stop him. And he reaches and gets a hold of him, gets him by the tail. Now, the, the old version of my husband would not have been in the chicken house with the chicken snake um, with anything that did not go boom. But... Um, he had reached down and got a hold of this snake by the tail and was trying to pull it, you know, pull it to cause 
the snake was still trying to head toward back toward the duck because I figured, I guess he figured that the duck was the safest place to be at that point in time because at least he could hide under her. But um, anyway, uh, we finally, we got it out of there and got it took care of. You know, I always, I always hate um, having to dispose of, of even a chicken snake, but um, you know, I know if I just go turn him back loose in the woods, he before I get back in the house, he's gonna be back in the chicken house. So uh, we don't have a shortage of of chicken snakes around here. They're beautiful. He was beautiful. He it looks like he had just shed off. I mean, he was so shiny, really pretty snake. But he was about five foot long, and uh, um, we got it, <laughs> saved the duck from the chicken snake but I was really proud of my husband because the old the old version of him would not have reached and got the snake by the tail he told me I was a bad influence on him <laughs> because he you know he couldn't have ever imagined himself getting a snake by the tail um so you know every once in a while a little bit of excitement going on around here uh few laughs and gives us stories for later so um you know, you know nobody nobody was hurt except maybe the snake um but anyway that was that was the excitement for the afternoon um otherwise nothing much going on uh i did notice yesterday that uh the kittens have come out. Mama had moved them down under the barn, and now they're they're coming out and exploring. Um, they're not tame at all. When I went down to the barn yesterday, cats just scattered, uh, which is okay. Uh, I don't need a bunch of pets. Uh, I they're the mom and dad are excellent mousers, so um, I just assume them go after the mice and the snakes if they'll go after them so you know just uh life goes on here on the farm um before i forget it i i usually if i've got a train of thought or if i've got a thought pop in my head i have to say it or i'll forget forget about it and later on remember it when it's too late but i wanted to say um you know i'm not terribly concerned with you know, some, um, I know some YouTube channels, it's just, oh, please, please subscribe. Please be my subscriber. I want, you know, a hundred million subscribers and, and they're just begging people to be subscribers and stuff. Well, I want to tell you that, that I am not about the quantity. I'm about the quality of, uh, of anything. And, um, so I want to I wanted to point out what wonderful subscribers that I have to this channel. My channel's not large. It is growing though. I want to tell you that I have went it was seems like it was just yesterday that I was like, oh, I've got 50 subscribers. That's so awesome. Um I I'm up to almost, I'm not quite there, but I'm up to almost 170 subscribers so thank you so much for watching and sharing and liking and subscribing and all of those kind of things I appreciate it thank you so much uh, as I've told you I try to bring you I want to bring you content that you like that you're looking for and um, uh, hopefully one of these days I'll get more time where I can focus on specific things and spend more time on you know um, herbal remedies or recipes or things like that and probably those uh, recipes cooking that type of thing will come more in the winter time when I, I have more time there's not as much to do outside um, so I hope you bear with me, uh, don't give up on me, and let me know if there is particular content that you would like to see or like to hear. That being said, uh, I had started doing a video series called Old Days, Old Ways. Uh, I do not see that those are being very popular. Um, they, they just don't seem to be getting very many views. So. 
you know, nobody said anything ugly about them. Nobody said these are stupid. I don't want to see this. Why are you showing this kind of stuff? Nobody has done that. That's what I'm saying. Y'all are wonderful. Um, but I'm just, I'm not getting very many views, which tells me that either y'all are very busy and have not had time to watch anything, or it's just not something that interests you. So, because like I said, nobody said anything ugly, so don't think that. Um, but, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to just make videos just to be making videos and putting things out there that, that you're not interested in. So, for right now, I'm going to suspend the old days, old ways uh, videos. I may take it back up later at some point, or I may just, you know, we may just every once in a while talk about, I don't know, we'll do an old Depression era recipe or We'll talk about something from from back in the day or, or just things like that. But um, as far as the series itself, like I said, I, I don't want to just put things out there just so that way I've got a whole bunch of videos. I, that's, that's not the whole purpose of this anyway. So, um, you know, I hope you forgive me if, if, you know, that was your favorite thing. Uh, let me know in the comments if it was something you were enjoying, because if you don't let me know, you know, all I can go by is how many people are watching it. So, um, if it was something you like, let me know. And if it's something else that you would like to see, some other topic that you would like to see, um, let me know that. Because, you know, again, I want to, I want to do things that we both enjoy. And, um. Uh, there's no need doing things that nobody cares anything about. <laughs> so, you know, just being honest with y'all, I, I just, uh, um, I want to, I want to do things that benefits both of us. So, and you hear the little babies, that's the little baby goats back there that are just, uh, mama, mama must have wandered off, but, um, uh, yeah, they're so cute. But I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I have not covered. Uh, I don't think so. I, I, you know, always you always see me looking around like I'm looking for inspiration to rain from the sky. Sometimes it does. Oh, <laughs> speaking about things raining from the sky. Remember I told you that um, I got to visit with my friends over the weekend. Um, I don't, uh, I don't know what everybody's stance is on religion or your beliefs or whatever. I've told you before, I am a follower of Christ. I believe in God the Father. I believe in um, Jesus Christ, and I believe in the Holy Ghost. And so if you don't believe in those things, you know, just bear with me on this story, but um, because you may have a different take on it, you may believe in luck or coincidence or whatever. I do not believe in those things. I do believe in um divine intervention. And so I have this story to tell on my friends from this weekend. Um, they had never been up in this part of the country. They had been, I think, to maybe uh, at some point they'd been to Branson or somewhere, but they had never been in this part of the Ozarks and certainly had never been on these dirt roads uh, like we have around here because we've got some of these dirt roads that you can drive for hours and never get off a dirt road. Um, they were trying to find the cabin that had been rented for us to stay in this past weekend and um, they had put the address into their phone for uh, the maps to find it. Well, as happens around here quite frequently, um, the maps were were not taking them where they needed to go and they ended up they took me where their phone had taken them and it was like way down this road dead end and when you start getting into a place where the grass is growing up and the you know in between the the ruts in the road and and all of that on the dirt road and the the bushes are all growing in. Probably people hadn't traveled down that road in some time, and they, they recognized that and decided this surely couldn't be the place. So they turned around, and they come back out of that one, 
and bless their hearts, they drove for two hours looking for this place, and they had already, they got to a place where they had a signal, and they had sent me a message saying, we're lost, and um, I was, you know, I was, I headed that way, because it's like, at least maybe I can get closer, and um, I went, my phone, now for whatever reason, maybe because it's used to this area, I don't know, but my phone took me right to it, right to the house. And as I pull up there, I notice they're still not there. So it's like, wow. Uh, hmm. So I'm getting ready to call them. And about that time, I get a call from them. And they're breaking up. They don't have a good signal, but they're laughing. So I know things aren't totally bad. They're laughing and they're saying we're getting an escort. And I mean, it's just breaking up and I'm not quite sure what they're talking about, but they're saying something about we're getting an escort. And I'm like, well, I'm already here, so I'm waiting. Anyway, a little while later, they show up and they pull in and they're alone because uh, their escort had left them down at where the drive had turned and you drive way back up in here to that place. and. So their escort had left them there where they turned off and they drove up there and they're laughing when they get out. And the story went as, as they're driving down this dirt road, one of, one of the girls happens to see that the front bumper said Sheriff's Department on it. And that, that in itself, and I'll tell you why, because out on these roads, and I even asked a friend of mine from work, um, you know, we've lived here for years. She's lived here most of her life. I said, have you ever seen a sheriff's, I'm sorry, I kicked, kicked the stand. Have you ever seen sheriff's department vehicle back in here? And she's like, no, I'm, yeah, me either. They don't just troll in here. And um, anyway, they had seen a sheriff's department vehicle, and one of the girls starts, and she's, flag them down, stop them, stop them, and she's waving. Well, they just think she's waving, so they wave back, and she's like, no, stop, stop, we need help, stop, and, and my other friend who's driving said, don't make them think that we're drunk. Well, anyway, they, uh, the officer stopped, and and they explained to him, we're sorry we're not from here and we are so lost. And they told him where they were trying to find. And uh, the officers weren't even familiar with the place, but they were able to look it up on their maps and, and found where they needed to go. And they said, well, follow us. Well, of course the officers are a little more familiar with, with the roads than my friends were. And so they're driving really fast. My friends are trying to keep up. Now this is all on paved, or not paved. These are all on dirt roads, mind you. So they're trying to keep up and, and they manage, manage to, and the officers take them where the, the turn off is and said, it'll be up that way. Well, then they get a picture with the officers because they're like, nobody's gonna believe this story. If, if there's no pictures, it didn't happen. So. They, they took a picture with the officers, and I just want to say thank you to Madison County Sheriff's Office, Madison County, Arkansas, Huntsville, Arkansas. Thank you for um, uh, having such good officers that you recognized uh, some ladies in distress, and you, you could have just told them how to get there, but you didn't. You led them there. So thank you so much for doing so. Appreciate your service. Appreciate your help. Um, and again, I don't believe in coincidence or luck. I believe that was divine intervention because it is not uh, uh, it is not a common thing to see officers on these back roads because unless there's something bad going on they're just not out on these roads. That's not where things usually are going on. So, um, I, I, whatever reason they were on that road that day, I'm glad they were. And glad my friends got there safely and they are safely back home in Texas. So, um, again, you know, it's always great when things go right. So, me and 
the Pepper Dog are going to tell you uh, good afternoon and we hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and that your week is a wonderful week. I'll try to get other videos out this week if I can, uh, probably shorter ones uh, so you don't have to listen to me ramble as long. But I'm always happy when you join us and I thank you. And if you like this video, please click that thumbs up and uh, leave me a comment if you are so inclined to do so. I love y'all. Mountain Patriot Homestead, signing out.